I'm not really a person who has a lot of regrets. In fact, I don't really like the word regret because regrets are things that you're thinking, oh, I should have done this. You know, you're, you're looking at the past and that's causing some type of like negative feeling. But I wanted to make this video because if I tell you my biggest three regrets while studying mathematics in college, it can help you because maybe if you're in college, you can think about doing these things and maybe you can do the things that I didn't do. And I do have you know, regrets. I probably should have done these things. Now, first I'm gonna tell you what is not one of my regrets. So I definitely studied enough. I, I don't look back and say, I should have studied harder in my math classes. No, no. I can honestly say that I think I worked as hard as I could uh, in most of my classes, even in the classes that I didn't do well in. You know, like I took college algebra and I worked so hard and I did not understand logarithms and I got a B and I deserved the B, you know. Um, at the time, given my circumstances, I did the best I could and that was always my motto in college. Uh, I told myself that I would work as hard as I could so that in the future, I wouldn't have any regrets. And I did that, and I have no regrets about how hard I worked. I succeeded, I got good grades, I got some degrees. Life is good. So no regrets on working too hard, which maybe it's a little bit interesting, maybe not. So I made a list of three regrets, I have it here. The first one is teachers. That's my, my biggest regret. So I probably should have raised my hand more in class when I had questions and I didn't because I was afraid. And I think that's why people don't raise their hand. It's because they're afraid. So if I can go back in time, like, you know, to pass me, I'd be that guy who raises his hand and is asking tons of questions. As a teacher, having those students who always ask questions, I love those students. Those are the best students. And sometimes this will happen. Other students will come tell me like, hey, so-and-so is always asking questions. Don't you find that annoying? I'm like, no, that's awesome, right? That, that's great. So be that person, be that person who's always answering. I mean, why not, right? It's your one shot, it's your one time in the classroom. Have some fun with it, right? So also, whenever you communicate with the teacher in the classroom, you learn more. So I, I would have learned so much more and I would have cleared up so many points of confusion. You know, sometimes I'd be really confused in class. The teacher would do something and then I would just go home confused and then I just would never figure it out. And all I had to do was raise my hand and ask a question and I just didn't do it. So don't be afraid to ask questions. Along the same line, this is still my first regret with teachers, going to their office hours and asking questions. I mean, I did do that, but I probably didn't do it enough, you know, because I did need help a lot of times and I was just always, you know, didn't like doing it. But I did go see my teachers in their offices quite a few times, different ones, but not every day, just every once in a while. So those are my, that's my first big, big regret. My second big, big regret is clubs. That's right, clubs, you say clubs, yeah, clubs. Colleges have a lot of clubs, okay? Uh, I did not really know this until I became a teacher and then like um, I sponsored some clubs. Like for example, I was the advisor for the chess club and for the math club, stuff like that. But those clubs exist and there's all kinds of clubs, all kinds of interesting clubs. Maybe there's clubs that do other things, right, outside of your area. So I think those are good opportunities to socialize, make friends. You know, I, I made some good friends in college and I could have made more, right, by, by going to clubs. I think that's something that I missed out on. I, I use clubs as a way to say, be social, right? Because that's a, an easy way to be social because all you have to do is you find the club on some website or some bulletin board or somewhere and it tells you where the meetings are. You just show up to the meeting, right? Like, hey, I'm interested in X, Y, Z or hey, I'm here for the Pizza club. <laughs> Any club that has pizza is a club worth going to. So you get free food a lot of times at these clubs. It's a good way to, you know, be on campus and keeps you on campus. There's studies that say, I don't know if this is true, but someone told me that there's studies that, that, that say that students who spend more time on campus tend to do better. I don't know if that's true. Uh, someone told me that once, but maybe it's true. I could see it being true uh, as a teacher. Uh, I, I've known students who spend a lot of time on campus, you know, they'll spend time in the honor center, then they'll go to have lunch, they'll come back, they'll come to my office, you know, 
these students get A's. They, they, are, they are awesome. So clubs, that's my second big regret. Or clubs are socializing more. You can, you, can, you can label it as socializing more. Okay. So my third, my third biggest regret is a weird one. And it might be the most uninteresting, but I should have taken more classes outside of my major. I mean, that would have been nice. It's, it's like a minor regret, you know. I think that could have been cool. But that's a hard one to do, right? Because, you know, I'm trying to graduate. I'm trying to, you know, finish as quick as possible. You have to take all these hard math classes. You don't really want to take on more because it's already hard enough. <laughs> so, you know, math is already a lot. So to have to, to add anything to mathematics is like, oh, you know, I, I almost did a double major in computer science. And looking back, yeah, I, I probably should have taken more computer science classes. Although I did, and I ended up withdrawing from one because I'm like, no, I just want to focus on math. This is, this is too much. So minor regret there. So those are my, my biggest regret, right? Not asking questions in class, uh, not socializing more, and not taking classes outside of my major. I think that could have been fun to take some classes in different areas. Um, I know that when I was in school, it was easier to take classes outside of your major, I think. I think it's harder now, so I'll just tell you really quick. So like in the US, when I was in school, uh, if you were poor and if you got financial aid from the government in the US, you could take any classes, right? Which is, which is really cool because you could go and, I don't you know, part of college is about exploring what you like, right? You could take a philosophy class and then some math classes and then maybe a biology class or learn some geology or you know, maybe take a physics class for fun. You know, whatever, you know, you could explore and take different classes and, you know, a writing class or a literature class, whatever it is you wanted to do. And financially would pay, right? They would pay for your, for your college. Now, I think they changed this. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure they changed it. And now um, it has to be, you know, a class for your major. Like it has to be part of your degree program, right? Like it has to be like on your program. You pick a program uh, when you start and you have to complete that. When you complete that, you get your degree, right? Because they change the degrees all the time. So you follow the program that you start with usually. And um, that program has some, some requirements. And only those requirements get paid for through financial aid, not anything you want to take for fun. So that's something that's, that's changed uh, since I was in college. That makes it harder uh, to take classes for fun and take classes outside of your major, which was my third biggest regret. So that might be not so applicable, to more, applicable today anymore, perhaps. But I'm not positive if that's like a nationwide thing or a state thing, but lots of info there. Any case, those are my biggest regrets. So, yeah, and I didn't, you know, and I didn't, uh, I don't regret not studying enough. I, I, you know, a lot of people think like, oh, if you don't study, you'll regret it. No, no, I made sure, I made sure that I studied enough to where I wouldn't have that regret because people always say that, you know, like, oh, if you're, you're gonna regret it. And I, and I knew I would regret, I knew if I failed the class or if I didn't get the grade I wanted, I would regret not studying enough. And even when I got, bad grades, like even my, my, my worst grade in college was a C, C plus in biology too. And I did the best I could. <laughs> so I did the best I could. I mean, I would go back, I should just study harder. I, I tried everything, right? I, I tried note cards. I read the book. I tried reading outside. I tried laying in the sun reading and I got sweat all over the book. I mean, I, I hated it. And I did whatever I could to get myself to do it and I couldn't do it. Now, knowing what I know now about studying and about how the mind works and how people are and how human beings work, I definitely think I would have done better. So, but past me uh, did, did the best he could. <laughs> so yeah. What are your regrets? Do you have any regrets about studying anything? Leave any comments in the comment section below. Oh, if you want to learn math, I have courses. They're on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses. But if you get them, please use the links from the description of this video. I've got courses on algebra, calculus, differential equations, trig, advanced calculus, abstract algebra, etc. Tons of courses. And I've lowered the prices, so if you use those links, you should get a low price. So, yeah. Key takeaway from this video is try to do everything you want to do now in your life so that in the future, you don't have any regrets, right? So try to live your life that way. Try to think, hey, what am I trying to do with my life? What do I want to do? Let me get it done right now. This way I have no regrets in the future.
Stay strong.